I used to like shoot on my wall, like, you know, do drills on my wall when I was little because I, I didn't never know I was going to get that opportunity to play. I would never thought I'd be a wheelchair basketball player. I just love playing. I mean, like I said, the opportunity came to me to play, and I love doing it. ASP is the American Association of Adapted Sports Programs, and what we do is school-based sports for kids with uh, primarily physical disabilities. It's athletics at its basics. There's referees, there's coaches, there's rules there's a season. Now, you still gotta make it competitive and it still has to uh, engage the students and I think that's what ASP has done a phenomenal job of is, is making competitive sport for what has traditionally been considered a diverse and dilute population. I was in high school and there was a kid, he was my best friend, he walked on crutches and he would always ask me to come and see him play in a wheelchair soccer game. I kept blowing it off saying, no, I'll come and see you, and I never did, I never did. Nicole, get ready. And the same team that he played for when I was back in 11th grade, I've been coaching now for 19 years. Here, middle and the other side. You guys are bunching up on me. All right, let's get some points, okay? All right, you ready? All right. Just knowing that they can uh, compete just like able-bodied kids, that's why I got into it. You know, I've watched my son grow and play and I know these kids can do the same, and they just need a chance to do it. So I found the opportunity to give them a chance and coach them to play to their highest abilities, and they're doing it. We oftentimes use wheelchairs because it gives us a level playing field. Do all the kids have to use wheelchairs? Absolutely not. Only about 40% of our kids do use a wheelchair for day to day. They can't go run full speed down a football field, but when we put them in a chair, they can bang it up. Well, yeah, it's really rough. You get knocked around a lot. You get rams and hit, and you get to go really fast. It teaches the kids independence. You have to be able to run routes. You have to be able to listen. You have to be able to visualize where you're supposed to be on the court at the time the ball is thrown. You're throwing with the ball to your power chairs, and if you hit the power chair, just hit them, then that's a catch. Well, the manual chairs, they have to catch the ball. And you have blockers. It's really not that different. You're having fun. I mean, that's the whole point of sports. You're having fun. Athletics overflows into all other areas of life. At academics, socially, emotionally. As a coach, I feel it is my responsibility to coach the whole person. Developing good character, integrity, honesty, and letting them know that you can be the best you can be. You, you can do anything that you choose to do in life. Getting them to develop a, enough confidence to carry out their skills on the court. If I see a ball, I'm gonna go get it. I'm like a, I'm like a wild animal when I'm on the field. But I will do my job on the court. That's guaranteed, I will do my job. There's a lot of challenges facing this segment of our population and millions of kids in this country can benefit from this program and it works locally and it's affordable. You know, we see it in our graduation rates. We see it in the number of kids that go on to college and go on to get jobs and they come back 10 years later and send us postcards from wherever they're working and whatever they're doing. These sports opportunities are a very important part of that process. What started out in Atlanta and in DeKalb County is now the model in the nation for how to run successful adapted sports in the schools, hands down. It's the model. And I think it's, a, it's an honor for Georgia then to get to share that with other states and cities and communities around the country. It's really, 
pretty exciting.